You lovely people of YouTube, it is Monday. We are back for another top comic releases for your viewing pleasure. This time we are looking at week number 13. You know what to do, let's do it. <laughs> Welcome back, you absolutely beautiful people of the YouTube comic book community. It's absolutely fantastic having you back. As I mentioned, we are on week number 13. We've got some absolute bangers for you to do and to have a decent look at. You know what you've got to do, guys. You've got to pick up your pen, pick up your paper, sit back, chill out and write down what comics you can add to your pull list this week so we can have a look. Let's do it. Up first, as always, guys, we have DC with Batman Catwoman issue four. We've got Batman Catwoman issue four with a Travis Cheres variant cover. We've got Batman Catwoman number four with a Jim Lee and Scott Williams variant cover. We've got Future State Superman vs Imperius Lex issue three. This must be coming to an end this week. And we've got our friend of the killer comic show is David Nakayama with this variant cover for that. We've got Strange Adventures issue number nine. We've got Strange Adventures issue 9 with an Evan Shayna variant cover. We've got The Flash 768. We've got The Flash 768 with a very spot on Ian McDonald variant cover. We've got The Other History of the DC Universe issue 3. And we have The Other History of the DC Universe issue 3 with the Jamal Campbell variant cover. Over to IDW now, we have Marvel Action Spider-Man issue one. We've got Marvel Action Spider-Man issue one with the retailer incentive cover. We've got Sea of Sorrows issue four. If you like the DC Black Label The Plunge, you'll like this. We've got the Transformers issue 28. The Transformers issue 28, cover B by Adam Bryce Thomas. We've got the Transformers issue 28 with a 1 in 10 incentive variant cover. And we have Usagi Yojimbo Wanderers Road issue 5. Boom Studios up next now. We have the very popular Firefly issue 27. Firefly issue 27, cover B by Raza. We've got cover F, which is the unlockable Virgin variant cover. We have the 1 in 10 bangle variant cover. We've got a 1 in 25 Ethan Young variant. We have a 1 in 50 Ethan Young, which is the black and white variant cover. We've got Power Rangers Unlimited Hair to the Darkness issue one. This is gonna be pretty popular. We've got Hair to the Darkness issue one, cover B by Young Guan Yun. We've got cover C, which is the 1 in 25 Vincenzo Riccardi variant. We've got the cover D, which is the 1 in 50, the fantastic Jenny Frisson variant cover. And we have the black and white one per stall variant as well. Aftershock now, we have I Breathe the Body issue three. And Nuclear Family issue two. This will be featured on the Killer Comics show this week. Merca and Dolfo's Unsacred Issue 5 for a blaze this week. We've got Merca and Dolfo's Unsacred Issue 5, cover B by Andolfo, which is a fantastic cleavage dive. We've got cover C, which is by the Panda Brothers. We've got cover D by Elisa Pachetta. We've got a 1 in 10 Merca and Dolfo Virgin cover. We've got a 1 in 20 Mirko and Mirka and Dolfo black and white cover. And we have a 1 in 30 Mirka and Dolfo negative cover incentive. Antarctic Press now, we have Death by Life issue 2. We've got Exciting Comics issue number 10. We have Gold Digger 284. We've got Horror Comics issue number four. This was postponed from last week, so hopefully it's out this week. And we have School Memories issue number one. 
Ahoy there, mateys. It is Ahoy Comics with Edgar Allan Poe's Snifter of Blood, issue 6. And we have the second coming, Only Begotten Son, issue number 3. AWA Upshot now with Bite Sized, issue 4. And we have It's a Man's World, issue number 3. Action Lab now with Carmine issue number four. This again was postponed from last week, so hopefully it hits the shelves this week. We've got Carmine issue four, cover B by Rubin. We've got Zombie Tramp issue 79. And we have the cover B by Marco Magna- Ma- uh, McHagney with the Risque variant. We've got cover C by Winston Young. And we have cover D with the Winston Young Risque variant cover as well. We've got cover E by Michael McComb. And we've got cover F by Michael McComb with the Risque variant. Dark Horse now with Dragon Age Dark Fortress issue one. We've got The Witcher, Fading Memories issue four. This should be back on Netflix soon, looking forward to that. And we've got The Witcher Fading Memories, issue four, cover B by Jeremy Wilson. Young Hellboy, The Hidden Land, issue two. And we've got The Hidden Land, issue two, cover B by Rachel Arapno. Dynamite now, we've got Vengeance of Vampirella, issue 16. Vengeance of Vampirella, issue 16, cover B by Ben Oliver. We've got cover C by Stefan Segovia. We've got cover D, which is a Holland cosplay. They seem to do a lot of cosplays for these Vampirellas. We've got a Lucio Perello limited virgin cover. We've got a 1 in 10 Stephen Segovia virgin cover. We've got a 1 in 20 cosplay virgin cover. We've got a 1 in 30 Ben Oliver black and white cover. We've got a 1 in 40 Ben Oliver tint cover. And I've got to be honest, this is probably one of my covers of the week. It is the Ben Oliver limited virgin cover. This is just sensational. Image now, we've got crossover issue number five. A few covers out for this this week. Let's go through them. We've got the uh, Vincenzo Riccardi variant cover. We've got the Santa Fung variant. Pretty decent looking cover here. We've got the Megan Hutchinson Kate variant A. And we've got a variant B as well, done by the wife of Donny Cates. We've got John Jiang exclusive variant. He guys will be on the Killer Comic Show next Friday, so look out for that one. We've got the John Jiang exclusive Virgin variant. We've got the John Gallagher Virgin variant, limited to 500 pieces. We have the blank variant cover for all you artists out there. We've got the Alan Quay Connecting Trade variant cover. And we have the Alan Quay Connecting Virgin variant cover as well. We've got one in 10 incentive variant. This looks pretty decent. And we've got the 1 in 25 black and white incentive variant cover to finish off crossover this week. We've got the 1 in 50 incentive variant cover. We've got the quorum issue number 7. We have the quorum issue 7 cover B by Mike Huddleston. We've got Shadecraft issue number 1. Looking forward to reading this. Shadecraft issue one, cover B by Perpetual Comics' favorite artist, it is Jock. We've got cover C, which is the blank cover. Get your pens out and get ready for this. We've got the SSCO Franny variant cover. We've got the SSCO Franny Virgin variant. (coughs) We've got the Zoo Orzu T4 exclusive variant. We've got Spawn 316. 
Spawn 316 Cover B by Todd McFarlane. We've got Cover C by the one and only Greg Capallo. We've got the Department of Truth issue number seven. This has been a great read. The Department of Truth issue seven Cover B by Tyler Boss. We've got Izzy's Comics exclusive Perel variant cover. Obviously, Breakfast at Tiffany's homage. We've got the Department of Truth issue 7 by Jay Lee with the exclusive variant. We've got John Jiang exclusive set A trade cover. And we've got the John Jiang exclusive set B virgin cover as well. We've got the Lithium Lion Breakers exclusive limited to 350 pieces variant. We've got Megan Hutchinson Kate's variant A with the Slim Shady variant cover and we've got the variant B as well we've got the rabbit comics the Jardines exclusive variant cover we've got the SSCO hack exclusive variant we've got the thingamajigs Eda exclusive variant cover we've got two moons issue number two and Two Moons issue number two by Mobili and Segala cover B. Mad Cave Comics now with Terminal Punks issue number five. Big players now, it's Marvel with Avengers Curse of the Man Thing issue number one. This features a first appearance. We've got Curse of the Man Thing issue one with the Patrick Gleason variant cover. We've got Joshua Kassara with the Stormbreakers variant. We've got Chris Sprouse on the variant cover. We've got the 1 in 10 Carmen Canero design variant cover as well. We've got Beta Ray Bill, issue number one, or Beta Ray Bill, issue number one. Beta Ray Bill, issue one, with a Todd Nauch headshot variant. We've got the fantastic Ryan Stegman with a variant cover of this. We've got Ivan Coelho with a Stormbreakers variant. And we've got Daniel Warren Johnson with a variant A. This is homage to Thor 333, I think. And uh, Johnson variant B as well. We've got a fantastic Chase Connolly variant. <coughs> we've got 1 in 25 Walt Simpson variant cover. And we've got a 1 in 100 Ryan Stegman sketch variant. Black Cat makes her appearance this week with issue number 4. We've got Jen Bartell with a Black Cat Woman's History Month variant cover. This is amazing. And we've got a Bustos variant cover. We've got the 1 in 25 Adam Hughes variant. This is pretty sweet. Captain America issue 28 is out this week. <clears throat> and we've got Captain America with a Michael Cho, Captain America two tall variant cover. King in Black, Ghost Rider issue number one. King in Black, Ghost Rider issue one, again with the fantastic Jen Bartel Woman's History Month variant cover. We've got a Gerard Perel variant. We've got King in Black, Return of the Valkyries, issue number four. Return of the Valkyries, issue four with a Ted Nauch headshot variant. We've got a Phil Noto Valkyrie profile variant. We've got Silk, issue number one. A few covers out for this, let's get through them. We've got Silk, issue one with a Bengal variant cover. We've got the J. Ancelotto variant A and we've got a variant B. These are both available at notquitemint.com. Put in the code GEEKY10 for a 10% discount at checkout. We've got J. Huang Lee. No, we've got G. Huang Lee with a 1 in 100 virgin variant. We've got G. Huang Lee with a virgin variant A and a virgin variant B as well. 
Yi Hung Lee again with the standard variant cover. We've got Silk Issue 1, Jen Bartel with a Woman's History Month variant cover. We've got Jen Bartel again with a variant. She's killing it this week. We've got Jiang Yoon with a dress variant cover. Jiang Yoon with a virgin variant cover. We've got Kao Engu with a variant A and a variant B. Again, these are available over at notquitemint.com, so do head over there and check them out. We've got a Nayong Wu variant cover. We've got a Peach Momoko Comic Grail Vault Singapore exclusive cover. And we have a Peach Momoko Comic Grail Vault Singapore exclusive cover B as well. We've got the fantastic Scotty Young variant cover. This guy can do no wrong, it is fantastic. We've got Zoo or Zoo variant A. Zoo or Zoo variant B. We've got Spider Man Symbi uh, Symbiote Spider Man King in Black issue number five. We've got Symbiote Spider Man King in Black issue number five with a 1 in 25 Dave Raposa variant. We've got the Union Issue 4. <clears throat> the Union Issue 4 with a Ryan Brown variant cover. We've got the 1 in 10 RB Silver design variant. We've got US Agent Issue 4. This is probably going to blow up with the, uh, the Falcon Winter Soldier episode, so I'd look out for that. And we've got US Agent Issue 4 with a Bennett variant as well. We've got X-Men issue 19. We've got X-Men issue 19 with a fantastic Miguel Mercado variant A and the Virgin variant B. Again, available over at notquitemint.com. We've got the uh, Jen Bartel Emma Frost Women's History Month variant cover for that. We've got X-Men Legends issue two. X-Men Legends Issue 2 with the Ivan Coelho Connecting Variant Cover. And then we've got the John Tyler Christopher Action Figure Variant to finish off Marvel this week. Over to Scout Comics now, we've got Impure Issue Number 1. Sam and his Talking Gun Issue Number 2. <coughs> Skybound now with Redneck Issue 30. Titan Comics now with Star Wars Insider 201. And we've got Star Wars Insider issue 201 with the PX Ed Peach Momoko cover. Vault Comics now with Giga number three. We've got Giga number three with a cover B by Adam Gorham. Shadow Service issue six. Shadow Service Issue 6, Cover B by Rebecca Isaacs. We've got Witchblood Issue Number 1. Witchblood Issue 1 with a Cover B by Lisa Stirl. We've got Cover C by Tim Daniel. And we have a 1 in 15 Yoshitani Incentive Variant cover as well. Last but no means least, we've got Xenoscope with Courier, Liberty and Death Issue 3. Courier, Liberty and Death Issue 3, cover B by Nelly Jimenez. We've got Grim Fairy Tales Issue 47. Grim Fairy Tales Issue 47, cover B by Edgar Salazar. We've got cover C by the fantastic and gorgeous Sun Kamenaki. We've got Cover D by Martin Cocolo. Van Helsing Black Anis, issue number one. We've got Cover B by Igor Vitorino. And to finish off a pretty storming week 13, we have Cover C by Maria Laura Sanapo. 
There we have it guys, it is another week down and I'm sure we can all agree that it's a pretty decent week. It's slowly progressing, every single week is getting better and better and we as comic book readers deserve that. Before we go any further, I just wanna say a massive shout out to Katana Collins for giving such a fantastic and in-depth interview on Thursday on The Killer Comic Show. Touching on The Killer Comic Show, we are back at 9 p.m. GMT on Thursday. You've got myself, you've got Andy from Perpetual Comics, you've got the one and only Ben from Attention Seeking Geek, and back by popular demand, the stars have aligned, he's finally got time off work, it is Tom from Not Quite Mint, so we will be chilling out, doing what we do best, having banter, having laughs, and doing some comic reviews, it's going to be fantastic. This week, it's been pretty full on we've had marvel dc idw boom studios we've had scout comics we've had behemoth we've had loads of comics out there's been around about 247 to 250 comics out this week so there's something for everyone to read Hit me up in the comments section below because you know I will get back to you. We'll discuss what comics are coming out, what variants and everything we've got coming out. Follow me over on Instagram because there's always something going on, whether it's, I don't know, whether there's geeky news, there's the geeky weekly highlights and stuff like that. There's something for everyone, so make sure you hit me up over there. Do what you do best. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, give me the thumbs up because... All of you doing all this enables me to keep giving you the content that you need and we're slowly, slowly picking up subscribers. We're hitting over them views and stuff. So it's all down to you guys doing that, enabling this. So guys, it's absolutely fantastic. You know this by now, but if you don't, if I don't see you for a week, I'm going to see you through the Geek Guy window. See you later. <laughs>